Bolts from the blue. The power of Earth. Clive has claimed a portion of the Icon Titan's essence. Tuning with Titan not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Wind Up. Wind Up. Singular strike that increases in potency when charged. Ability details can be found in the ability tab in the menu. Titan's feet. Titan's iconic feet, Titan block can be used to fend off uh, most incoming attacks using X immediately after the time precision block will initiate a devastating counter. I like that. That sounds good. Titan channel. And there's so many other abilities we can unlock then, huh? Look at that. We have like like at least three, four more on this side. Crazy. That's cool. What's going on, Nectar? I trust you wrapped up warm. Bloody Murder. This is in what is it? Ald 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 Hill Rosaria. Okay, okay. We'll keep that in mind. For got some about that way. Not all the nobles made it out alive. Cook and men had their fun with more than a few. And how may I assist you today? What is it that you wish to learn? Study it well, Clive. Thus ends today's lesson. Before we speak with Otto, Go check in on all this other stuff. We don't have any side missions to do right yeah, now, so that's their old tricks again. That means I can go. White as a sheet when they kill him. Oh, Maeve knows how to. I gotta say, I prefer these extra outfits as opposed to the normal ones, but I do like the normal looks for the Ambrosia and Torque. Is it business or pleasure? We won't hear making play. The only drawback still. From what I hear, uh -huh. the poor buggers. Coin purse weighing you down. Damn. Dude, 40k for a song is crazy work. Why? Oh, 
don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Life. Uh, things here ain't too bad. Nah. Must have been hot. I know how hard it can be. Not saying for you, dear. It'd last you a good while. Gelatinous mass and scar scarlet. I don't have and all right. I think we got a new letter or something. Homecoming. I apologize what happened to Rosalith. I fear what what might have been had not you, Gavin Torgal, fought so fiercely. Once again, you were there when I needed the most. For that, I shall be forever grateful. Seeing the city I once had to know as my home reduced to flame and rubble has such sadness in my heart. But the time looking back, but the time for looking back is beyond us. Let's focus on here and now. Our memories will press when this is. Alright, well, let's go hunt this thing. Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Yo, Chi, what's up? Come on, Chi. Old, 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 so over this way. How's it going, Chi? What's up, man? Gotta go the other way. <laughs> oh, really? What is it called? I haven't heard of that. Fate trigger the no yeah. huh. Oh, is it? Huh. I'll check it out. Let's see what this is, she. 3D style anime hero based tactical shooter Unreal Engine 5. Hmm. Like I said, I never, I, I never heard of this until now. you and the crew might dominate at this game to do so well enough in. They have skills in ult, so it makes Apex, but you can prone 
Can prone but not slide. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check it out. Are you, are you gonna be trying it out? Cheer! What other games are you playing lately? I might be looking for something to play. Gotcha. I got man, I got so much to play right now, dude. I, uh, I can't I can't play everything. I still haven't even. I still haven't even like completed like first ascendant and stuff like that, man. Like I'm so behind on things, man. Oh, it's like chivalry too. That game's fun, but yeah, the community is pretty toxic on that one. Same for like Mordhau and all the, all those types of games. They're fun, but yeah, the communities are super toxic. Dani-san, ohayou gozaimasu, kinki desu ka? Bro, I'm going the wrong way. I was supposed to go to Old Hill, Rosaria, which is over here, but like... Going over this way. Thought maybe if I went over here that they would find what I'm looking for. This is where we gotta go. Maybe if I keep going this way, I'll find whatever I'm trying to you know, hunt. Where could this thing? Deserve a rest. Is it here? Oh, oh. Ew, what the hell? Flan Prince. What the heck? That's disgusting. Oh, that's a big old hand.
Oh, those hands hurt so bad. Yeesh. It's kind of brutal, man. I think it took forever to go down. Oh, there is a gelatinous mass. Whatever it was. What this means. Go craft that thing I was missing the gelatinous mass for, right? I was missing that for the, for the crafting materials, but now I have it. So before we go speak with Otto, let's go check this out. Also, we need to buy some potions, so hopefully uh, Karen's got some. How would it be pleasure, Karen? What are you talking about? You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. I don't. I'm not so sure about that. What do you need? The same for you, dear. That's not what I needed. It. This is the thing I needed, but I still need the scarletite. Dang. Okay. Well, I can't. Uh, I can't make it anyway right now. That's all right. All right, let's go talk to Otto. Otto, Otto. The little ones have been up to their old tricks. Not all of the nobles made it out alone. He got for me, Otto. Is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Ah, oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Yeah, pretty much. Mid. <laughs> Mid? Get back. Oh. Just now. They should have called her something else, man. Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Call this area. I, I, I don't know how I feel about calling somebody Mid. Even if it is their actual name. Most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a nah. place I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> I know, just, just, just the, the idea of it though, you know? <laughs> I did. Still a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. <clears throat> which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on! Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? What are you all about? 
for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... <laughs> Storm, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Mid at all. Telemon, student of engineering at the University of Canberra. She's well versed in the street secrets of modern and fallen technology. As any scholar in the twins and needs to put that knowledge to use in the service of the Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? You took your time. What do you mean? I came right here. Busy man, mate. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mate, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. As sick could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. Damn. Me. Who else? What do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Ooh. Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Okie dokie, okie dokie then. Let's see what we got over here with Karen. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Lily Chan, Yampasu. Kideska. How are you? today for you. Think you can find everything on there. This lot would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Very nice. Indeed, it was. That's that's good. It's going pretty good. Making some decent progress today on this game. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you. From Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Livia, hello. Summer storm, that one. Mm. What 
you want. Not bad, if I do say so myself. <laughs> what happened, Maza? And? I'm great. How about yourself? I, th I think I think I know I think I know Majin. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Like father, like daughter. Going purse weighing you down. I would say that now. Not find a better price than that. Is that all? Oh, maybe it's how to... Okay, who do I gotta talk to now? This way. Oh, they're down below. Jill looked white as a sheep when they did. Ooh, nice, Lily Chan! Congratulations, Pachi Pachi! Everybody, Pachi Pachi for for Lily Chan! Very nice, very nice! Congrats, that's awesome. Seems that uh, all your uh, hard work has been paying off. Then that's really cool. What's your question, Olivia? You're gonna ask me if I need some uh, so any graphic art done, or, or or am I wrong in thinking that? Workshop in the storeroom. And she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place <laughs> afloat. Well, yeah, it's really cool, Lily Chan. That's, that's, that's awesome. Patchum, we'll all of us sink Congratulations. That's, that's really cool. I'd gladly spare mid all the time I have. But it's always, always nice when you... Uh... Got none. <sighs> it's on me. Uh, but I was gonna say it's always nice when you, uh, you know, get recognized and 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 your hard work pays off. So that's really cool. Congratulations again. That's really that's really cool news. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. What a name, huh, Bardolf? Yeah, I figured, Olivia. I figured. Uh, unfortunately, I don't need much done right now. Aside from emotes, but, uh... Yeah. I don't know. Now you have to, you have to prepare a speech. Uh-oh, public speaking. Oh, no. Nah, you'll be fine, though. Got this. Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Ah, uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there then. Find Bernard near the ruins of Cressida. Dang, it just has to not be an obelisk in this area, huh? SMH my head. So when are you gonna um when is when is like when are you gonna get the award? 
When do you have to deliver? When do you have to deliver this speech by? Let's go. Fly Ambrosia. October 9th. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. So you got you got you got a little bit of time to come up with the speech then. Sazae? Sazae Nani? <laughs> Sazae Suna. <laughs> what? I thought it was your favorite, Sora-san. Sazae Fugu Doko. You'll need all the time to prepare. Yeah, like I said, I'm sure I'm sure you got this. You got plenty of time to come up with the speech. You don't you don't need to all do it in one one day or, or you know oh, all, all at once. You can uh What brings you to a place like this? Think about it and, and come back to it after you started it. Find you here. I have a proposition for you. But I'm sure you'll do you know? You'll get it. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And. If Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of sure, course. why not? <laughs> well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. All right, let's go slay some creatures. This shouldn't take long. Ashusan! Ashusan, ohaya gozaimasu, kenki desu ka? How are you doing today, Ashusan? Look at that. Nice. The electricity, let's go, man. Heck yeah, dude. Dragon Tower. 
So I got, I got part of uh, that should do it. Part of the uh, Titan's abilities, right? But you made short work of that lot. But I can't use them yet. Thank you, son. No right? Because I haven't had the option to use them yet, though I supposedly unlocked. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Not sure what's up with that. Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. You were sleeping me while either. working? Uh, Genki de Sashu-san, arigato. I'm good, I'm good, thank you. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Alright, we're back to Mid. Alright, Clive? You've all done then? Sure am. am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks, Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. Nice. <laughs> I can't wait! Very cool, very cool. Ba -ba 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 nice. Breath of Earth. Wind up, up. That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Oh boy, we got two side quests. Okay. Might as well get them done, huh? Doris, is it? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Uh oh. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. Oh boy. The curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that. They know the work is dangerous, but I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them, what risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go find them. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Yes. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. Dragon's That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Ooh, oh, oh. Dragon's Airy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go find these guys. Slavers don't even bother with no French Give me the chocobo. Come on, Ambrosia. Come on.
How did I not see these guys the first time I rolled up here? in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? For you. Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. <sighs> All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. All right, let's go rescue some people. When the goblins drove off the slaver's guard, I, I thought they might be doing us a favor. Damn fool. to get into the carriage. What? How'd he hit me? Ain't no way. Get stunned again, homie. Yeah, buddy. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Get out of here, dude. Who are you? Who am I? Friend, Who are you? Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. Go back to Doris and report our findings. Sid, welcome back. A Stolas from the Dame arrived not long after you left. Well, isn't that nice? I just waited a little longer. I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. 
Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we Cursebreakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one go. with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole. I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. Ba 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 da. That's complete. The breath of fire, rising flames. Okay. Now we have another side quest, but it's over in the infirmary room. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Come to claim your just desserts. All yours. All done? Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Of course. Right? Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. All right, before we leave, though, we got to pick up the side quest. Rodrigue. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Oh, Rodrigue. Time has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time, and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Well, you survived, I know, but here as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. I know. I still wish there was some other way, but griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. You're counting on you, you man. Are. Counting on you. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do. Abunai, yeah, Abunai. The summer is ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would Barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh, thank you. No one knows Herb Lord like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look. And where do you look? Fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber, over in Rosaria. Okay. Just search. For the bright blue blossoms. Do no harm.
Okay. Right over here. Run like the wind. The river was easy enough to find. Now for those herbs. Very nice, very nice, very nice. One more hornet left. That's cool. That's a good picture. Chocobo's strong. Yeah, uh, Chocobo's cool. Uh, Chocobo's name is uh, Ambrosia. Very cool. It's all white, and uh, it's got like eye, it's got an eye patch on it. Because it took an injury earlier in the game. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Nope. Only the usual. Oh yes, this is it, and more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But... I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. Bro, just do, do what you do, man. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk so we gotta think it up. Tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision, a single slip, and the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. That's why you ain't gonna Success fail, boy. Tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound healed. Better than death. I became a physical. Or having the brand, people, right? Not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Well, you're not Those doing it on purpose. Lives. And the operation is only the beginning. I'm doing it on they purpose now. Shadows, risking life and limb. Knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we have no shortage of volunteers. The day I decided that I would take Sid's name was the same day Taya took my brand. I remember. It wasn't long after we came here. What little medicine Talia managed to salvage from the wreckage of the old place had been used up treating the wounded. She begged that your operation be delayed until a new supply of Antalgics was found. Antalgics. The procedure was even more dangerous back then. Only a few souls had undertaken it. Doris, Cole, a handful of other curse breakers, and those who were no longer with us. Those who lost their lives in the process. It wasn't something to be done lightly. No. But it was something I had to do. If I was to take Sid's name. He always led from the front. And never asked anyone to take a risk for his cause. That he was unwilling to take himself. Even if he knew that it might cost him his life. Itai, Itai, Itai. Hold still, Clive. Hold still. Damn. There it is. Gone. I knew there'd be pain. That I might not survive. And I was afraid. But I also knew that if I didn't overcome that fear, that pain, then I would never be able to call myself Sid. 
I didn't know. We all want our brands removed. But it's a decision each of us must make for ourselves on our own terms. Rodrigue, I know your work isn't easy, but neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. Yes. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. There you go. Good job, dude. Another level up. Yeah. Nice. I think that's all the side quests, yeah? Alright, let's go. Have a chitty chat with Gav or with by tomes. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. <clears throat> Jill looked white as a sheet when we got Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. Yeah? Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and well, seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive... I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. Hmm. His name was Fenrir. Of course it Fenrir was. Fenrir. Of course it was Fenrir. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva and the other you're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. What? Just like Fenrir. Well, that's People interesting. Call Hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Toggle blasting those bastards to kingdom come... Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. That's cool. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> oh. okay. All right. All right, man. Hey, I'm not... Okay. I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I, I, I need you to introduce yourself. I, I don't want to say none of that because that's... Uh, I shall be a moment. <laughs> that's just silly, dude. Why, 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 why say it like that? I don't... Oh, man. Okay. We're we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna let that one slide. <laughs> we're just gonna let that one slide, man. Uh. 
Dang, the workshop is already done? It is. How much time passed? You and everyone else. How'd they get this working so so quickly? I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. All right, mid. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. We have everything we need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest we shall! <laughs> Thanks for before, son. That was a good deed you did me. Only right I do you one in return. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. Let's go and ask her. I think I'll wait till mid's away to take a tour of the dungeon. Oh, Vivian, what's so going on? How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? <laughs> I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry <laughs> about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? I mean, yeah. sure, why not? I'm a guest. Guest? I'm a guest. Ooh. Who's here? There shows up. This. For your trouble. It was a pleasure. Oh, it's the, un it's the uncle. <laughs> Uncle nice. Byron? Clive, my boy! Hell yeah. Have a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. <laughs> How did he know where to find him? This guy's great, though. I like this guy, man. He's cool. Unless we not forget the very touching reunion of the two. Meanwhile... Twinside, the Holy Empire of Sandbrek. Seat of the Imperial Crown. Look at this place. Damn. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. And I hate this lady. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty titan. Also, when I first saw this kid, I thought it was a girl, not a boy. The Empire owes you a great debt. That haircut. The blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. 
Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fists will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. He's a little, uh... Would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and hurt Python. the moment, unless they patch him up really quickly. And what of your subjects? Your His hands are full at the moment, yeah, right? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses. Poor guy needed a hand or two, man. That, that last fight. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. <laughs> the Empire will live on. Sure do. Dion? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, that was cool though. That that ending the fight like that was pretty badass. Who's sniffing flowers, bro? What's happening? What's going on here? Prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. Why is this kid always on the Annabelle like that? Or if that is your wish, your radiance. So something going on with it. Depart at once. Hasn't said a word this whole time either, huh? Kid looks a little too old to be be doing that. McGregor, forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Hmm. Annabella's tales were true. Annabella, okay. I said Annabella earlier. Annabella. You disappoint me, Dion. Bro, when is this lady gonna get what's coming to her, man? She she deserves nothing good, bro. Sleep. Suck so much. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. The little ones have been up to them. It's just one thing after another around here. Only one thing after another. What's up, Uncle? Ah, 
my dear nephew. How I've missed you. <laughs> How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. Oh. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came. To learn the full truth of the matter. <laughs> okay. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith de Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? <laughs> Gav really is like the comedic relief of this game, huh? And I'm afraid that is all I know. <laughs> A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less. Fucking hell, he said he really has an eye for humor, bruh. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But well, would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves. Not hither and yon. His life hanging in the be. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Okay. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen as if in mourning as if they believed or were made to believe that their master was dead <laughs> you have a keen mind lord rosfield and you have your answer to find kupka you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the velcroy it may well have gone cold by now but as they say in the republic all roads lead to drake's fang uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. 
As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. All right, all right, chill, chill. See you off in a minute. Here for another of my lectures. We met under curious circumstance. Naturally. Still. Lord Byron Rossfield. I heard tell. Why? What is it that you wish to learn? I have the details here. Trust my uncle to turn up. Thus ends today's lesson. Mid's finished. Just outfit in a little workshop I hear. With a little help from Sid, of course. Otto. Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanzer and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalimil. Rosina Dalimil? The huh? Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's, and only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Sure she'll come up so, at some point. Uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Gav, Otto. Why was he so worried about him staying? You can count on us. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because that was wild? <laughs> I guess, but right, he's... Uncle. It's not that bad. Ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. Adventure, yes, uncle. The Velcroy Desert. He's the type of dude to shout out huzzah. <laughs> it kind of is. The Dalmechian Republic. So back to the desert we go, huh? Okay. If this is the same place that we started off at after the five-year time jump, and it might not be. I was be, a young but. man when last I walked this path. The other place started with a K, though, didn't it? I don't recall the name, but. Trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post. It was something like that. Riddle of the Sands.